Hi, I'm Leah Woodward, and my big idea to improve BSU is to increase online access to upper division STEM classes to help non-traditional students succeed in college. Traditional college students have been young and independent of family or work obligations. But because more older learners are returning to college, I encourage BSU to add more online classes specific to STEM studies. As an adult returning to college, I know the challenge of having to balance family, a full-time job, and college classes. There are many online options already available but not enough remote access to STEM studies in upper division, even though many high-tech employers are paying for and asking employees to take these STEM classes. I looked at the current list of online classes offered by BSU. There are very few online classes for students to take in upper division STEM discipline, and none of the classes incorporate any sort of hybrid or mixed mode lessons for students who can't leave work to attend class. BSU can improve STEM studies by incorporating remote access in the form of video conferencing, discussion boards, interactive tests and labs, and weekly on-campus labs that are adaptable to changing schedules. According to a 2012 paper by the National Science Foundation, STEM learning is more effective when students are engaged in discussions or manipulations of an idea and this is more effective than traditional lecture hall method of disseminating information. The study gave an example where chemistry students participated in small online groups and were asked to predict the outcome of upcoming chemistry experiments. These students saw a statistical improvement in test scores versus other students who sat in on a traditional lectured class. Bill Gates, in his blog, Gates Notes, discusses the success made by the University of Central Florida. They have already incorporated blended classes into the pedagogy of STEM disciplines. This has allowed the college to reduce tuition cost, triple the overall student body, and increase the graduation rate, all without adding any additional campus buildings. 80% of the students take online classes versus the national rate of 30%. And when these students take at least 40% of their courses online, they complete their degree about four months faster than the rest of the students. Resources are already available for students who want to learn through online formats outside of Boise State. MIT has a YouTube channel called OpenCourseWare. There is clearly an interest in this type of learning because they have over 2 million subscribers. Online classes are not enough for STEM, as discussed in an article by Donna Renar Pataco and Anamir Orellana. Low retention in STEM majors threatens the United States' ability to maintain prominence in the global economy. The authors recommend video conferencing in combination with peer-to-peer -peer dialogue and interactive media such as video demonstrations, practice tests, and a live whiteboard use to create equivalent experiences for distance learners. Again, what I am proposing for Boise State is to use models of pedagogy that incorporate online active learning and for lab-related requirements to be scheduled on a weekly cadence so students can join depending on their variable schedules.